Hello guys, my name is Subzero Extabyte and I am once again on top of a tree, but today we are going to explore the long lost legend of the Big Bertha, and you might think who is Big Bertha? Well then you are making a big mistake, I admit that I first thought that Big Bertha was something along the lines of a cow or some animal like that, but no Big Bertha is amazing, and it is not an animal at all. It is not alive, but it lives. You might think that, it sounds weird. But it is the most amazing sword of the entirety of Minecraft, and it is just way too powerful to make jokes about it, and I previewed it right there. But we are going to have a little look at what you need to craft that amazing looking thing. But first this amazing tree and this mushroom cow, which we are also going to call Bertha. Wait what is Thig's tree doing? Is it attacking me? What is this then? I am not sure what this is. But I don't think that we are supposed to enter this tree. It looks dangerous, and it is a tree, which is really weird. Normally a tree is and that frightening. But this tree is pretty scary, but we are going to explore the tree anyway, because I want to. And there is just tree stuff in here, which is not really that interesting. But what is interesting are these things with one wood log, and on both sides to leave blocks attached to it. That is just weird. I am not sure what those are but they look pretty cool. So, we are just going to have some fun with this tree. Or do we really want to do that? I don't want to get hunted by these weird log creatures. They protect the tree and they are pretty cool. But it also seems like those trees are not that rare. So I don't think that there will be amazing loot on them or something. I see another one in the distance. But I am not sure if I want to explore every single one of them. It was kind of boring in there, but that is okay. Because with that boring stuff, we can now build a house, and with some stuff that I just took out of my inventory. Because I can do that then I will do that, but we are just going to make a little cozy house with some protection towers, that my ancient grandfather people used back in their days. It is called cobblestone towers, and they are exactly what they sound like. They are cobblestone towers that protect you from anything bad, and they even believe that it stops the lightning from striking on top of your house. So yeah, those things are pretty amazing, but we don't need amazing stuff right now. What we need right now is just some shelter, but I am on top of that problem and it will be solved in just a minute. Don't you even worry. I am just going to make an amazing little cozy house where we can stash all our stuff and eventually maybe take Big Bertha to. And then she might be amazed by this house. I am calling her a she because that is what people do in the movies with swords, and it already has the name Big Bertha, so I am pretty sure that Bertha is a girl. There is no way of identifying that, but I am just going to assume the gender of my sword if you guys are okay with that. So now we have the walls and the crafting table in and it is already coming along pretty nice. The walls are not finished but you get the gist of it. But the walls are almost finished except for the front wall which I am not sure yet if I even want a door there or if I want walls there. So I might just use this house as how the old people used it, like a cave, and I will have no door. Doors are just luxury. And right now I don't need luxury so I am just going to have it cold for the night. But I am sure that I can see everything that is coming my way from that side that I don't have a door at. So I don't know if a door is really that great. But the great part is that we are going to install these amazing ancient technologies inventions. And they are the cobblestone towers that I was talking about. And they might not really look that impressive. But trust me they are really impressive if you ever use one. They can just amazing and they stop enemies from coming close. They still don't know what it is behind them but they are sure that it is something they don't want to know to. So, we are just going to make a couple of them just for design sakes and maybe the more we have the more protection we gain from them. The people are still not sure how these things even work. But it has been proved that they work so that is pretty great, and they are even really easy to make which is even more fantastic, you just need to not make them out of silverfish blocks and then it would be easier, but that is what you thought, if you have one normal one then that is okay if you have four of them, but you need at least one of these towers made out of silverfish cobblestone, if you don't have that then you won't gain any protection, these silverfish their souls that are trapped into the cobblestone, well they aren't really trapped they are just chilling there inside those blocks with their families, 
but they are pretty great when they're inside and we are the sad people that take them out of their little holes. But anyways what I was trying to say that these silverfish that are inside of the towers are actually known to have their presence revealed when mobs are close. So the mobs get afraid of the silverfish and then they just not get near it and then they feel great, and then that is fantastic for us because we then have protection thanks to these little buddies. But that is just what my grandfather people said to me, I haven't yet figured out if it really works, so that is something that we are going to see for ourselves, and hopefully it will work and if it works then I would be pretty happy with the result. You don't really need to have anything, you just need some cheated in silverfish cobblestone, and if you have that then just place it into this tower shape. And then you are good to go and then everything is great, and you will feel amazing when you are inside of your house, you won't feel afraid or anything so that is just amazing, do you know how many people are afraid of being in their own house? Well me neither but I could expect that there are some people out there, and I wouldn't like to be one of them. So that is great. So now our little house is finished and I went for the door tactic, which I should and have done, but I just don't want any wandering things to get inside of my house, and these croc and repellent torches things are pretty great, they look amazing, they give amazing light and they suffice for that no crocans come near my house, well near those torches, but I am not sure if there would even be a reason to be afraid of the crocans. it not like I live next to the sea or something so there is no re-reason to be afraid of the crocans, unless the crocans is just some street language for some kind of dragon or something, then I would be glad that I hung those torches and not just assume that it was a water creature. So now the only thing that we need to do is make the big birth and once in a while look at our house and just appreciate the looks of our house. I think it really looks amazing so I am really glad that I built it and I think that those cobblestone towers really do look great with the sort of design we went with. And I think that I just could be the one to have enough potential to be some kind of architect or something. But I could also be a cave worker I am so amazing at mining, I just can smell where the good stuff is hidden. Or I just have a lot of luck I don't know. But it is amazing that sometimes I can find really good stuff and that I can actually use that good stuff, I would call all of this call good stuff, but it is better than nothing and I need all of it removed as fast as I can so I am doing that and it is actually a lot of coal that is down here, I actually regretted my decision of taking it all down, but I could also use a lot of iron so. I am just going to take whatever I can find. And you might have wondered what the hell were those blue blocks you just destroyed sub? Well I am not sure either what those things are, but I think we need them for something so it is always nice to just have them in your inventory. Even if you don't really do anything with them, it is still just nice to know that you have them. And we just found some diamonds and some crabs or something. So they were fake diamonds or what is going on right now? I am really confused to what just happened when we destroyed these diamonds that were right there in this wall. But I don't like these crabs and I don't want them to be around so I just poured a lot of lava on top of them so now I am sure that they are totally gone and that is amazing I can just kill a lot of those crabs like that and it was totally easy, but I am just gathering a lot of stuff that I could use once in this lifetime. And my inventory is pretty big so why not? So, we now have a lot of stuff that we don't really need to let head back to our amazing castle looking thing. It is just a cozy house, but there are towers around it which looks really great, it looks like some kind of miniature castle or something. It is really small. I am not sure how I can live in such a small thing, but this small thing is really amazing so I guess that, that makes up for it which is really great. So, we are back at cost of the Sub-Zero X to bite, and yes that is my house if you might be wondering, and no we are on no burglars or something, I built this house with my bare hands and with some splendid blocks straight out of the creative inventory which is just amazing that it can be as simple as that, and yes casa means house in Spanish, at least I think so, so I might be wrong, but I am pretty sure that I am right so I don't know. But let just keep it on that casa does mean house and that I am right and that everyone else is wrong and that we are sub zero extra bite and not sub zero extra bite, because I don't have an extra bite, which if I had that would be totally amazing if I have to be honest, but we are just chilling here in this house and we are just watching this furnace burning things which is amazing to me, and it is getting pretty hot in this wooden house, which is pretty weird because you would and say that it would be warm in here, and what do we have there? Is that a diamond? Well yes, it is just that young gentleman and welcome to your new job as a diamond man, which is going to be totally amazing, you can just make diamonds for a living, 
and you don't really need to search them which is even more fantastic. But we can just sprint around now, we don't really need to be afraid of mob spawning or something. It is not yet really dark so I don't believe that there would be a lot of zombies or other mobs around here, which is once again fantastic, but we are getting so busy with our thoughts that I barely have any other ideas than my thoughts, but this redstone could save us one day, who knows? Well I know that I don't know, but there is a secret lair behind the red stone that we are hiding from the other people that might venture this exact same spot as I am venturing right now. But anyways we are in this cave and it is not closed or anything like that. The fresh air can still come through and it is a bit of a canyon that is still active and still has a lot of lava and also some water as well, which is just fantastic if you ask me. So we are just going to exit and then we are going to enjoy even more fresh air and we can spot even more water and maybe with some luck we can also find some lava. But I don't really need lava but it would be cool and we are in luck because there is actually just lava in front of our house. So that is what keeps us warm in there, and it might even just protect us from the mobs. So we have those torches, we have the believed cobblestone protect towers, and we have an amazing lava pit in front of our house which is just amazing and that could also just make the mobs fall into, but we are not sure of that yet because these mobs are pretty smart. But I don't think that they are as smart as I am right now. I am just gathering a lot of stuff though which is also pretty great. But yeah, we need a lot of stuff, and when we have got a lot of stuff then we can craft the legend of Big Bertha, which is also just going to be totally amazing, but yeah. I don't really like this lava pit anyways since the mobs are smart and I am not sure if they are smarter than me. And the reason that I have to say I am not sure is that I don't know and I don't know because I am maybe just not as smart as those mobs. So we are just going to get rid of it for a bit and we are just going to take all of this obsidian, as if we are mining it. We are really mining it. But you probably get the gist of what we were doing and that is pretty cool. So you now know three ingredients of the most amazing sword known to mankind, and with the most amazing name of the entirety of mankind, which is the sword of Big Bertha. So that is just fantastic. And as you could see it was not really that hard to make. Well we kind of didn't make it with that DOS and really matter. I am just showcasing all of you the Big Bertha, and however it is not really that big of a sword it is still one of the best things that are in this game that you can kill things with. So yeah, credits to Big Bertha for this one. But we needed this, and it looks absolutely stunning, look how far we can hit by the way. And the knockback on this thing is amazing. You can knock back the mobs so far away that they are just going to fly wherever they come from. Or you can just hit them that hard that they might just fly to China, which is also just fantastic. Fantastic, now you speeded the mobs and now they are even in China. So, you have done an amazing job at sending things to China. They didn't apricate that, but you don't really care that they now have one mob in there, you just want them to kill that one mob and then it will stop. But that is not what is going to happen. China is going to do all kinds of tests on that zombie that you just launched into outer space and what you just sent to China and now it is going to evolve into things that it shouldn't evolve into and that is not really that great. So let just not do that if all of you don't really care. But I just spawned this sea monster, and it seems like it is not really a sea monster. It was doing just fine when it was on land, sadly it died though which is not really that amazing. So now all that is left since we actually got the most amazing sword on the entire planet and on Minecraft. The only thing that is left to do is kill all kinds of things. And luckily for all of you that are watching, and also for me, I have a couple of really cool looking mobs and they are just amazing, like if you just paid attention to all these names that these eggs had, then you know what all of them are. One is called, um no you don and I am curious to why it is named no you don. So, I am going to figure all of that out and hopefully it will be something amazing, and not something that is going to freeze my computer, or something like that. But the things that we spawn are really easy to kill. But I think that um, just on or whatever it is called, a bit like the Lord and Savior Kthil who is a bit harder to kill than that, and it is a Kraken I think and we have some anti Kraken torches in our home, so if it just DOS and come near our home then that would be fantastic, and the things that we are spawning are pretty amazing, but it is a pity that they all die so fast and I'm actually getting a bit lonely from this. All I want are some friends but they all run away and die to kill me, and then there is nothing left for me to do except for killing. 
even these amazing big things are almost all the times one shots, but this Mozilla thing is not so maybe this will be my friend finally, but I don't think that we can tame this thing, it looks really dangerous, but now I really need to go and I will see all of you guys later, and just don't forget Big Bertha please, she is really cool, bye.